benign prostate enlargement, otherwise known as BPH for benign prostatic hypertrophy. The most common problem would be urinary difficulties, either frequent urination, difficulty initiating urination, urinating at night uh, multiple times, so disrupting sleep. And once men reach 60 years old, greater than 50% of these men will have some form of BPH. Not all heavily symptomatic, but a, a vast uh, number are. And there's a lot of treatments, mainly urologic treatments, that are being done on these patients. Prostate artery embolization is a newer procedure. It's been happening for the last seven to nine years in the study setting. It's now coming out as a proven procedure as far as being safe and effective. It's a minimally invasive procedure, and there are some other minimally invasive procedures performed by urologists. But in this procedure in particular, we know that it does shrink the prostate effectively, associated with minimal side effects, and patients can pretty much go home and resume their lives normally within a day or two after the procedure, and they'll see results very quickly. The operation itself or the procedure itself takes one to two hours. The recovery would just be three to four hours. Um, we may admit some patients, depending on medical issues or their own comfort level, but it really is a, an outpatient procedure. We also have high-tech high technology imaging here where we can do what's called cone beam CT, meaning we can actually obtain 3D images while we're doing the procedures to assure that we're treating exactly where we need to be treating, what we need to be treating, and we will use that technology to be confident that we are only treating the prostate. We are very respectful to the patient. We want to do what's right for them all the time. That's why we spend a lot of time talking to them in the office, on the phone. We have office staff that will deal with any questions, anytime. We're a 24-7 service. If there's ever any, any question, maybe the night after a procedure, there's some issues, you can always reach an interventional radiologist. So we are in-house, available all the time.